High blood pressure is a very common uh, condition, but often very much underdiagnosed because people do not know when it is happening and how serious it is and so do, uh, they do not go to the doctor in time and it can become very dangerous if it is not detected in time. If you see statistics uh, blood pressure incidence uh, in population is more than 15 percent. That is uh, in, a, in a India we can say millions of people are having high blood pressure, but very few people actually go to the doctor and get good and proper treatment. So, what causes high blood pressure? There is no single cause actually, there are multiple of causes. One is the sedentary lifestyle, another is diet which is heavy with salt and other many kind of uh, high calorie things and uh, when people are taking junk foods, there is uh, stress in the job and field and other uh, familial matters. All these things can lead to high blood pressure. Many times uh, it is uh, actually genetically also determined, so without any cause also a person can have high blood pressure. Then how do you know that a person is having high blood pressure? Uh, sometimes there is symptoms, the person will have headache, fatigue and difficulty in digestion, swelling of the legs and the person will feel the shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing and walking short distance. These are all can be symptoms of high blood pressure, but one thing to remember is that high blood pressure can happen without any symptom also. So, this is very important around 40 to 50 percent of people will not have any symptoms and still can have a very high blood pressure and those people can suddenly develop heart attack or kidney failure or brain stroke or any other thing. So, the point to remember is if you are having any symptoms or even if you are not having any symptoms, but having small uh, signs like uh, tiredness, fatigue, first thing is you should check your blood pressure uh, in a proper manner. So, there are two, uh, in when you check the blood pressure, there is systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Systolic is upper part and diastolic is lower part. Normally, we say 120 over 80 millimeter of mercury is a normal blood pressure and up to 130 to 90 is borderline blood pressure anything more than 140 over 90 millimeter mercury is high blood pressure. So, this is how we can diagnose by there are many machines available sigma manometer, digital machines, ABPM machine is also there, this is nowadays it is the latest machine to diagnose blood pressure correctly. So, once you have a diagnosis of blood pressure, uh, what do we do? So, first thing is we should consult a specialist doctor who can give us a sound advice about the blood pressure treatment and uh, second thing we should take care of our diet and lifestyle. So, always prevention is better than cure. So, once you have a good diet and good lifestyle that is reduction of salt, reduction of calorie in our food, uh, regular working and activities, these things are very important and uh, beyond that uh, your doctor can advise what is best for the treatment. The latest development uh, we have blood pressure medications which are really successful and patient can have a lung and successful a treatment for that. But one thing to remember is that if uh, you are having blood pressure, do not discontinue the medication suddenly or uh, once the blood pressure is normalized. That is a mistake because blood pressure treatment is a slow and gradual process. Always consult your doctor and uh, if the blood pressure medicine needs to be adjusted, that can also be done according to the doctor's advice. If you follow all these things, the blood pressure can be very well treated and hypertension will be controlled.